I didn't see you there. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss the history of Elizabeth Freeman and the involvement she had in the Cedric family. I hope you enjoy. An African American woman born in 1742 in New York. At this time, Freeman was known as Beth. She became property of John Ashley and his wife Hannah in 1746. Hannah's family originally enslaved Freeman and a young girl. Some may say it was her sister, but no one really knows. Now Ashley was a wealthy Sheffield, Massachusetts resident. The Sheffield Declaration, also known as the Sheffield Resolves, was a colonial American petition against the British tyranny and manifesto, drawn up a series of resolves. The meeting took place in Colonel Ashley's house on January 1773. Eleven men met in an upstairs room of Colonel Ashley's house in Sheffield. One of the eleven men being Theodore Cedric himself, an American tyranny and politician who took part in the signing of the Shepherd Results. While it is written that Ashley wasn't a very harsh man, accounts indicate his wife was. One day, John Ashley's wife, Hannah, attempted to hit a young girl named Lizzie with a hot kitchen shovel, but Bet stepped in and took the hit. Bet was furious to see a scar that would last a lifetime on her arm. Later that day, she left. She walked three miles down a path and arrived at Theodore Cedric's law office. Bette asked Theodore Sedgwick to help her file manumission papers. Mr. Sedgwick decided to take her case. The trial took place at the Southern Berkshire District Court in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. And soon after that, she became the first enslaved African American to win a freedom suit in Massachusetts, along with another individual by the name of Brom. Elizabeth Freeman's case was the reason Massachusetts freed slaves in the Constitution, starting in 1792. She was proudly renamed herself Elizabeth Freeman and took a paid job in the Cedric household. The Cedric parents were not around too often, so according to Theodore Cedric's daughter, Catherine, she was like a mother of the children, and they called her mom. The Cedric Pie is a monumental place where all the Cedrics are in the Stockbridge burial area. Every grave stone faces the judge Theodore Cedric, forming the shape of a pie. Theodore's grave is the biggest of them all, along with his wife right beside him. History had it that the Cedric family had buried in the family plot as they viewed her as a true mom. Recent scholarship may point out to the fact that Freeman was not originally buried in the pie, but that she was buried in a black cemetery in Stockbridge and reburied in the Cedric pie across Theodore and his wife. After a recent discussion with the Cedric Pye descendant, Todd Sedgwick, he stated, the reason why she was moved in the Cedric Pye was that she was an important figure in the Cedric history. She raised many of the Cedric children, and without her, their family history would not be the same. He believes that she deserved to be buried in the Cedric Pye. She was truly family. Oh, it's so good to see you all again. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned a lot about Elizabeth Freeman and her historical impact. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.